Howdy friends, now I received this communication the beginning of last week Today is Sunday the 26th of July As you can see it's from the Department of Health and Social Care Imperial College London, Ipsos Mori and the National Health Service I've covered my name and address obviously and I've also scribbled over this little scannable and I'll read through this quickly Dear Mr Richard, take part in a COVID-19 testing research study We are writing to invite you to take part in an important study to measure the prevalence of COVID-19 The study is being conducted by Imperial College London and, and Ipsos Mori, an independent research organisation on behalf of the Department of Health and Social Care. The study will help the government work out how many people may have COVID-19 in different areas of the country. We would like you to take part even if you have already been tested for COVID-19. The test may indicate whether you currently have the COVID-19 virus. We have chosen your name at random and participation is completely voluntary. It's easy to sign up to take part. Number one, go to the study website. Number two, enter this access code, which I've obviously blanked out again. It's too many, I've got too many IDs as it goes. Enter your details and tell us if you would like to take part. You can register by going online or by calling our free phone number. It should only take you five minutes to register. If you sign up, we will send you a package containing a test to be administered at home. The package will be sent by Royal Mail and should arrive between the 24th of July and the 3rd of August. The test is a swab of your nose and throat and will be returned to a laboratory by a courier who collects the completed test from your home for analysis. The results from this test will be sent to you within one week. There will also be a short online survey that asks about you, including your health and any COVID-19 related symptoms you may have had. There is more information about the study on the back of this letter. Thank you in advance for your help. Yours sincerely, Lord Bethel of Romford. Well, there's only one Lord and it's not Lord Bethel of Romford. Professor the Lord Darcy, FRS. Like I say, there's only one Lord and it's not Lord Darcy. And Kelly Beaver, Manag Managing Director of Public Affairs, Ipsos Mori. Let's take a look at the back. Who is carrying out the study? Imperial College London and Ipsos Mori are carrying out the study on behalf of the Department of Health and Social Care. You can find out more about Imperial College London at blah blah blah. How did you get my name and address? Your name was chosen at random from the NHS list of patients registered with a GP. Under the General Data Protection Regulation and Data Protection Act 2018, NHS England are responsible for your data. For the data collected as part of this survey, the Department of Health and Social Care will be a joint data controller together with Imperial College London. Ipsos Mori will be a data processor acting on our behalf to carry out the survey. Ipsos Mori and Imperial College London will keep your contact details confidential and use them to send out the tests for this study if you register to take part. Neither organisation has been given any information about your health. <sighs> what test will you send? We will send you a swab test of the nose and throat by Royal Mail. The test is of a high clinical standard, can be self-administered and takes only a few minutes to complete. It may cause some mild, short-lived discomfort. Once returned to the laboratory and analysed, the test may show whether you currently have COVID-19 virus, although test results are not 100% accurate. It does not show whether you have had the virus in the past. 
This will help us to assess how much virus is circulating across the country, including in people who do not have any symptoms. Will I get the results of my test? Yes, we will send the swab test results back to everyone who takes part. It is important that you continue to follow the government advice at, at the time of your test around social distancing, regardless of what the results of your test show. What if I do not have access to the internet to register online? I can phone call. My privacy. The swab test results will be passed to Ipsos Mori and Imperial College London to link it to the information in the questionnaire. All questionnaire information will be kept confidential by Ipsos Mori and approved Imperial College London staff and researchers. Nobody will be able to identify you in any published results. If your test is positive, suggesting that you currently have COVID-19, we will inform NHS Test and Trace so that they can contact you. If you agree, Imperial College London may link the results to other health information that the NHS holds about you. This linkage would be done by the NHS. For more information, go to the full privacy policy at www.ipsos.co blah de blah. If you have any questions about this research, please visit there. For the government guidance about COVID-19, please visit there. Now, what I didn't do was anything. I, I'm not interested. I'm not interested 100%. So I left it on the side. And yesterday, Saturday, I received more communications from the same organizations and it reads dear mr richard help measure the prevalence of covid19 register by july 29th and today is the 26th we recently invited you to take part in an important study to track prevalence of covid19 the study is being conducted by Imperial College London and Ipsos Mori, an independent research organisation on behalf of the Department of Health and Social Care. To get a true picture of the spread of the virus across the country, we need as many people as possible to take part. If you register, we will send you a swab test kit that in, may indicate whether you currently have the COVID-19 virus. We would like you to take part, even if you have already been tested for COVID-19. We want to measure prevalence over a short time period. So if you would like to take part, please register by July 29th. We cannot accept any registrations after this date. Good, good. The registration process is the same as the previous letter. However, what we seem to have lost is um, Lord Bethel of Romford seems to have uh, opted out of this for some reason and the details on the back on the reverse are exactly the same too so that's this communication they seem quite desperate okay so let's take a look at Imperial College London according to Wikipedia Imperial College London legally Imperial College of Science Schmeyance Technology and Medicine is a public research university in London dating back to the Royal College of Chemistry's foundation in 1845 Imperial grew out of Prince Albert's vision of an area for culture including the Royal Albert Hall Imperial Institute numerous museums and the Royal Colleges that would go on to form the college in 1907 Imperial College was established by Royal Charter merging the Royal College of Schmeyance Royal School of Mines and City and Guilds College. In 1988, the Imperial College School of Medicine was formed by combining with St. Mary's Hospital Medical School. In 2004, Queen Elizabeth II opened the Imperial College Business School. The college focuses exclusively on Schmeyance technology, medicine and business. The college's main campus is located in South Kensington and it has an innovation campus in White City, a research field station at Silwood Park and teaching hospitals throughout London. The college was a member of the University of London from 1908, becoming independent on its centenary in 2007. Imperial has an international community 
with more than 59% of students from outside the UK and 140 countries represented on campus. That's Imperial College London. And who are Ipsos Mori? Again, Wikipedia. Ipsos Mori is a market research company based in London, England. It was formed by a merger of Ipsos UK and Mori in October 2005. The company is a member of the British Polling Council and Market Research Society. History. In 1946, Mark Abrahams formed a market research company called Research Services Limited. RSL operated until 1991 when it was acquired by Ipsos, becoming Ipsos UK. Mori Market and Opinion Research International was founded in 1969 by Robert Worcester. Robert Worcester stepped down from chairmanship of Mori in June 2005. Ipsos announced it would acquire Mori in October 2005 for £88 million. Pounds, all the eights, and would merge it with Ipsos UK. The merged company was named Ipsos Mori. Methodology. Ipsos Mori's research is conducted by a wide range of methodologies using computer assisted telephone interviewing as well as face to face and internet surveys. Many telephone surveys use a system called random digit dialing to interview a representative group of the population. Controversies. In May 2013, the Sunday Times reported that Ipsos Mori had negotiated an, an agreement with the EE Mobile Phone Network to commercialise the data on that company's 23 million subscribers. The article stated that Ipsos Mori was looking to sell this data to the Metropolitan Police and other parties. The data included gender, age, postcodes, websites visited, time of day text is sent, and location of customer when call is made. When confronted by the newspaper, the Metropolitan Police indicated that they would not be taking the discussions any further. Ipsos Mori defended their actions, stressing that the company only received anonymized data without any personally identifiable data on an individual customer and underlining that reports are only ever made on aggregated groups of more than 50 customers. Okay, so I'm on nationalfile.com. Gates Foundation funded both Imperial College and IHME, failed model makers. Debunked models shut down the economy. This is a report from May the 16th, 2020. So no more. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation recently provided massive amounts of funding to both the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, IHME, and Imperial College in London, which both produced wildly incorrect models for the coronavirus outbreak that sparked worldwide pandemic and provided false justification for the government leaders to shut down the American economy, creating mass unemployment. Bill Gates is a vaccine oligarch who recently laughed at America's econ economic devastation. The economy is not going to be anything like uh, it was. It's going to take a long time to recover. It's going to be, you know, people are going to be surprised at how slow and how how fitful this is. Like a long time to recover. It's going to be, you know, people are going to be surprised at how slow and how how fitful this is. Like a long time to recover. It's going to be like a long time to recover. It's going to be, you know, like a long time to recover. It's going to be like a long time to recover. It's going to be, you know, people are going to be surprised at how slow and how how fitful this is. You know, like a long time to recover. It's, you know, like a long time to recover. So committed he is to his vision of vaccinating the world's population and keeping society locked down until that becomes possible. Gates, like his crony, Dr. Anthony Fauci, has fought the use of hydroxychloroquine to treat the virus and has claimed that society will never fully return to normal until a vaccine is ready. White House Coronavirus Task Force member, Dr. Deborah Burks touted the IHME's 
Chris Murray model in April. IHME is housed at the University of Washington and was reportedly founded by the Gates Foundation, according to a Fox 9 report. In 2017, the Gates Foundation provided a 10-year, $279 million grant to IHME. Burks, meanwhile, sits on the board of the Global Fund, which has received more than $2 billion from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The IHME model proved to be a total disaster. In Georgia, where Republican Governor Brian Kemp led the charge for reopening his state, the model was previously predicted 1,783 new cases per day on June the 12th and hundreds of new cases per day into August. That model, just revised, shows 367 new cases per day on June the 12th and zero new cases per day by August. A tweet by... Patrick Howley, reporter, Deborah Burks, whose PA medical license is expired, used a bogus Gates funded model to shut down the country, defended counting non-definitive cases as coronavirus, sits on board of Global Fund, which has taken more than $2 billion from the Gates Foundation. And a tweet, Faith over fear. She's not any better, apparently. In March 2020, during the coronavirus outbreak, the Gates Foundation awarded a more than $79 million grant to Imperial College London. The Imperial College London model, spearheaded by team leader Neil Ferguson, projected 2.2 million American casualties. The disastrous model led to Elon Musk lambasting Ferguson, who resigned as an advisor to the British government when he was caught flaunting the very lockdown that his numbers inspired. Imperial College London admits on its website that its research on Arbo viruses, which includes work on vaccine projections undertaken by Neil Ferguson himself, is Gates funded, stating our research is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the US National Institute of Health and the MRC. Business Insider reports that Neil Ferguson's MRC Centre for Global Infectious Diseases at Imperial College gets tens of millions of dollars in annual funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and works with the UK National Health Service, the US Centres for Disease Prevention and Control, CDC, and is tasked with supplying the World Health Organization with rapid analysis of urgent infectious disease problems. A job posting that opened in December 2019 and closed in January 2020 stated, emphasis added, we are seeking an outstanding research lead for the Vaccine Impact Modelling Consortium. This major collaborative initiative directed by Professor Neil Ferguson is based within the MRC Centre for Global Infectious Disease Analysis at Imperial College London and funded jointly by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. BMGF and Gavi the Vaccine Alliance, which is another one funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, $11 million over 2016 to 2022. A Chinese government entity that has partnered with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation led a delegation of public health experts to the Wuhan Institute of Virology in December 2018. That's a year before the outbreak. After the lab had already begun its back coronavirus research funded by Anthony Fauci's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. This discovery was made by citizen journalist Amazing Polly. President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo have emboldened the narrative that coronavirus originated at the Wuhan lab. Well, if it originated at the Wuhan lab, Gates and his foundation may well have dragged it around the world. Then, the Chinese government's Center for Global Public Health guided 10 experts from Africa to the Wuhan lab and other Chinese institutions and reached a consensus on training of biosafety personnel. The information on the trip from Wuhan Institute of Virology's website can be read there. According to the website, 
CGPH has managed and implemented foreign aid mission assigned by the National Health and Family Planning Commission and the Ministry of Commerce, as well as international cooperation projects funded by United Kingdom Department for International Development and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So the British government are complicit, knowingly complicit. I'll leave a link to this. Let's have a quick look at Ipsos Mori and see what it actually means. Him. Ah, Ipsos. Have I spelt that right? Him okay. Oh, there you go. So in summary, I will not be taking part in this survey, this study. I don't trust the government, Department of Health and Social Care. I don't trust the NHS. I don't trust Imperial College London. And I don't trust they die. I don't trust Bill Gates. I don't trust Lord Bethel. I don't trust Lord Darcy. I'm curious to know how much this scam is costing the British taxpayer. Two letters, a testing package, a courier to come and pick up my test. How much is it costing for this scam? I won't be taking any part in any surveys. I won't be taking the vaccine if it comes out. Say no more. Yeah.